What's up guys? Welcome back to today's vlog. Thank you so much for clicking and again if you're new on this channel you're most welcome. So guys today we have a guest on my channel. Hmm? So he's going to be introducing himself for those ones who don't know him and for those ones who know him kindly kindly welcome him on Harriet Anabo's channel. I know you guys have been waiting for this video. Really? So today is the day yes. You mean they've been requesting They have you? been requesting me a lot of them kindly meet this gentleman kindly meet the, oh, this gentleman oh. and today he's here on this channel. It's a pleasure. Uh, maybe you can introduce yourself to those ones who don't know you. Uh, my name is Manja Lawrence and I run a YouTube channel called UG Connect. Yeah. And I'm so happy getting featured on Harriet and Abo's YouTube channel. Yeah. By the way, we'll come back to, from Thank Kenya. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hope you had a good experience there. I had a good one. I had a good one for sure. Okay. Yeah. So guys, uh, today we are going to be interviewing UG Connect and we are going to be asking him about his life. He's also going to be sharing with us about his journey on YouTube and how much he makes on <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> you want to know how much I make, eh? Yes. <laughs> so you want to be calculating how much I make every month. <laughs> you guys, you're not easy. It's for sure. I cannot skip that question. Hey. Eh? I cannot, because they'll ask me, what about the money he makes? I know everyone asks me that. Yes. Even people reach out to me privately in my inbox. Mm asking me about how, man, how much money I, re, I, I earn every month. Mm. But I think the way, the way they approach me also um, okay. show it matters. Mm. Oh, uh, it makes me get worried. Mm. Why is this person coming in my inbox and asking how much money I, I make? Mm. Yeah. But just for the purpose of inspiring people, of telling people the potential of YouTube, I'm here to spill all the tea to tell you guys everything it takes whatever she's asking me i'll be answering accordingly all right so UG connects maybe you can uh, try to because yes you know we know you use the word UG the name UG connect on your youtube channel mm -hmm. and uh, maybe people would <coughs> want to know why did you have to choose that name and not use your names because me i use my real names harriet anabo yes. your names are Mayanja, you Mayanja Lawrence. Mayanja Lawrence. Muanguzi. Muanguzi, but mm. you use UG Connect. Yes. All right. So why did you have to choose that name of UG Connect? Well, I start, when I was starting YouTube, mm. my first YouTube channel was in my names. Mayanja Lawrence. Yes. That, but that channel evolved. I gave it many other names. Mm. Right now it's called Afro Connect. But it used to be called Mayanja Lawrence. Mm. Then I called it Don Larry. Then I called it exclusive stories. Wow. Right now it's called Afro Connect. <laughs> so it has gone through a lot. Okay. By the way, I want to thank Kenyans because that channel, I used to do Kenyan content. Oh, wow. Yes. That's nice. Kenya has shaped me to be who I am in the content creation space because I picked a lot of inspirations from Kenyans. Eh? Mm. So I used to make uh, biography videos about celebrities in Kenya, trending news in Kenya. I tried Ugandan news and they were not moving. Mm. Almost every person who starts YouTube, especially here in Uganda, mm. starts with that kind of content. So I, I started with Uganda, but things were not moving, so I switched to Kenya. And those videos were moving. If you go to that channel, Afro Connect, you'll find a video about Aziad Nasenya. Those are one of my best performing videos, but I had videos there which had over a million views, five million views, 10 million views. But because of copyright, I had to take those videos down. And you'll find that that, that channel has, hasn't been active in a long time. It's because I experienced a lot of strikes, a lot of copyright issues, and mm. I gave it a break. Mm. But right now, I'm coming back. I'll be putting up content there. So I used my names. Okay. But as I progressed in the content creation space, mm. I saw that in Uganda, we don't have a YouTube channel or a YouTuber who is into showcasing Uganda to the world. Wow. There are others, for instance, there are guys who used to make uh, series about Discover Uganda, something Discover. like that. Mm. I think that channel is also called Discover Uganda. But all of a the sudden they went mute. They were no longer uploading content. Mm. So me, I saw that there is chance. The space is virgin. There is no one making that kind of content. Mm. There is no one making positive content about the country about Uganda, tourism. Mm, mm. Most people you find on the internet are making content about news. Most are making negative content, you get it. Eh? So, me, I came in, because I already had a channel in my names, I had to give this channel another name. So I started, I, I started with um, UG Connect TV. Mm. Yeah, that's how, actually even these UG Connect guys, 
who made a concert. Yes, yes, yes. I think they got uh, the idea from me. Okay. Because the channel had the name already, UG Connect TV. So the concert happened, and I, if I had some money, I would even sue them to make some money. Yeah, for sure, because <laughs> they were using my trademark. Your trademark and... Yeah. So to cut the story short, how I came up with UG Connect is I wanted to make content mm. that appeals to all Ugandans. Wow. Ugandans in the diaspora, Ugandans here at home, Ugandans in the villages. If you come on my UG Connect channel, in my recent videos, or the previous videos about the ongoing projects, the tours I used to make around the entire country, people were like, can you imagine? I stay in Gaba, but I don't know that something is happening in Kampala, <laughs> that the flyover is getting constructed. Mm. Oh, UG Connect, thank you so much. I stay in Koboko, you're showing us what's happening in Kampala. We are so proud. You get? Yeah. People getting information about the country mm. from my YouTube channel. Really Even nice. people in the diaspora. So UG Connect was more of an inclusive name, including everyone in Uganda, and also making this content in English because most content creators, majority, 70% of content creators we have in the country making content uh, make make content in Uganda. No. I by the way, sometimes I wonder why why would they make content in Uganda? Because think, some people don't understand Uganda. Even me, it perplexes me mm. because Uganda is non not only for I'm in Uganda. But Uganda is not only about us. Sometimes there are people who complain, why don't you make content in, local, in the local language in Uganda? <laughs> yes, I get such complaints. Yeah. But guys, Uganda is not only for Uganda. So I was making content in English to include everyone on the channel. I think that is one of the reasons as to why my channel has, growing. is growing very, yeah. very fast. Mm. Yeah. So that's how I came about uh, with the name. Wow, thank you so much for sharing. Because I've always wanted to ask you this question, like, why why use that name? Mm -hmm. But now, guys, I hope he has answered that question, why he uses the name UG, UG Connects. Connect. Okay, yeah. he wants to connect everyone on his channel yeah. so that you can see each and everything that happens in Uganda, which mm -hmm. is really nice because UG Connect has really, really promoted the Pearl of Africa. Yeah. And you guys really can tell because there's a video that we did Mm, who are many YouTubers, but people came on my channel and they were telling me, I know this guy, I know this guy. So that's how much you promoted Uganda. I, I really appreciate that. Mm. Yeah. So thank you so much for promoting the Pearl of Africa. Mm. So UG Connect, um, can you please share with us your YouTube journey? Because we want to know where you started, how YouTube has made you grow in your life. Because I know you're, you're a man of family. Mm, you have a family. A family yeah, he's a family have man. Two guys. handsome boys. Mm. But we are still counting, guys. <laughs> 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 my lovely lady, Karunji, oh. I love you so much if you're watching. Yeah. Yeah, so my, I'm a family man. Mm. About my YouTube journey, I started YouTube, I think, in 2018. But there I wasn't serious. Because I'm a musician, I used, I used to upload covers there. You upload a video today, you wait for two months, one month you put another one. Just trying to put... Yes. But how I got serious with YouTube was during the pandemic. I think that's like 2020. Mm. We all went in lockdown and we were not working. Yes. I'm a musician, we were no longer performing. That's how I used to earn money. Mm. We were no longer performing. Mm. I used up all the savings. So, I'm a family man. My family has to eat, everything is on me. I'm like, how are we going to survive? So my mind tells me to go online and search how to make money online. Wow. I go on the internet, mm. I search, and I was given a big list, many videos on YouTube, many articles talking about different ways of making money. Mm. So among the different ideas they were sharing came YouTube. So I was like, oh, so these guys who make videos make money. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube pays them just for making videos. Yeah. I could see guys just sitting there and they are making videos, they say they are making money. Guys could even say, this is how much this video made me. And the, the, video, the video is not serious. Guys just sitting down, <laughs> talking about things, and the video makes a $1,000, wow. makes $500. I was like, okay. So I start from scratch. Mm. That's how I start building those different channels, the Afro Connect. Mm. It started as Manja Lawrence, Don Larry, blah, blah, blah. Then I come to UG Connect. I have other channels I've been building. Yeah. I've been selling a few. By the way, if you're interested in buying a channel, 
I build and sell YouTube channels so you don't go through the stress of monetizing, getting wow. subscribers. It is a very, very difficult step. But if mm. you don't want to go through that, I have channels available for sale, built by myself, but they're expensive. <laughs> yes. You need to be with money, guys. <laughs> Come with bags of money. If you're interested, you can reach out to her. She yeah. will connect you to me. Exactly. So, what was the question? Yeah, your YouTube journey. My YouTube journey. Yes. So, I get serious during the pandemic. Mm. Start making content, making content. My wife is seeing me as if I'm wasting time. She's like, we don't have money. Even the Kalito money we have, you are wasting it here on the internet. And we were going to make content. I tell her, honey, please trust mm, me. Mm. Right now, I don't see anything I can do. Okay, during the pandemic, man, mm, mm, I got a job cleaning a toilet. Wow. Mm? Yes. For, I think, five months. Mm. And they were paying me <laughs> 150000 Ugandan shillings per month. And you used to report every morning? Every morning. My job was to clean a toilet there in, um, there's a place, I'm not going to mention uh, the name of the yeah. place, mm. but people used to gather there, a lot of them. Those who know me five years back, you know mm -hmm. the place, it's in, in Zambia. Guys, I used to clean toilets. Right now, I respect guys who clean toilets. Me, every time I go to a mall, I go to a place and I find a toilet cleaner. If I have 10,000, 5,000, I tip them. Because I know what it means to be there. Mm. You have just cleaned the toilet. Someone comes and shits everywhere. You have to come back and clean because it's a job. I've been through worse situations than that one. My life even before YouTube. Now, I've not shared that. Maybe that will be for another day. Gwe, me, I've hustled. Me, I'm a self-made person. I'm a self-made... In Uganda, we say kana kambata. You know kana kambata? <laughs> yes. I'm a self-made person. No one can come and claim that, hey, Lawrence is what he is because of me. You made Everything yourself. has been my own effort. Seeing that I fight, I don't want my children to go through the hassle I went through. I don't want my family to go through the hassle I went through. Mm. I lost my dad when I was in primary three. And since he died, okay, life wasn't good, but it even became worse, more worse. You mm. get it? Eh? Mm. So, to cut the story short, leaving that behind, I started making content. One year into the content creation journey, there is a month where we made five thousand dollars on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Now that's where my wife started believing this YouTube thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I can testify to that, guys. Eh? To most of the YouTubers, UG Connect that start up your YouTube channels, they always discourage them. What are you doing? You're yes. wasting time. You're wasting time. Huh? You get a job. You get a, a full-time job. You're wasting time. Blah blah. People even used to shout at me on the streets. But hurry right now as I'm speaking. Mm. I'm not bragging, but I thank God. You're living testimony. Mm. When someone reaches out to me mm. and they're like, Lawrence, I want to do a collab with you. Lawrence, I want you to help me with YouTube. Lawrence, I, I would like to help me with this. I'll be like, I'm like, okay. If I have time, I say, okay, you will facilitate me. Just little money. Yeah. I don't know why some people have a problem with mm. you asking them for facilitation. <laughs> so you want me to put, put my things aside mm. and then come and help me help you, mm. at the end of the day, you say thank you. No. <laughs> I'm proud to say that right now, yeah. if I tell someone, you give me a facilitation of 100,000, 200, 300, some thousand, some people consider it, and they see that, yes, it indeed this it. guy is worth it. Lawrence, I want you to showcase my property, what? You ask them, man, they see that it is worth it, and they give you the money. I'm proud, and I thank God for that. It's been a journey full of hustling, mm. full of rejections. Mm. Harriet. Hey. Eh? If we start talking. <laughs> I can <laughs> even get emotional sometimes. Oh. My wife mm. knows the story very well. And sometimes when we think about where we have come from, we get emotional and we give all the glory to God. Amen. 
like I read nowadays. Mm. Okay, I'm not that rich, but it, it's not painful for me to take my family out and I spend a hundred dollars. But two years, three years back, mm? I would even <laughs> quarrel. <laughs> my wife telling me, yeah? honey, let's go out. Mm. I'm like, mm? if, he's, if he's watching the video, <laughs> she will just laugh. Me, yeah. I didn't want us to go out at any time because I know when we go out we are wasting money no we, we don't have money we'll mm. so be seeing people eating good things oh, you get and admire and for us we just pass so it would pain me because sometimes I would ask okay let's go and just walk around not be in the house mm. all the time we go walk around the malls what you mm. see people enjoying eating good things you see your, your son yearning for ice cream yeah, mm -hmm. even my wife looking at people eating good mm. things and it would pain me, Harriet, mm. that I can't afford to provide. So sometimes when she tells me, man, this is even making me emotional, no. Sorry. to be honest. <sighs> it's been a rough journey for me. The other day, I gave my wife some money to go and buy our son's clothes. Harriet, we cried. She was like, I can't believe we have this amount of money just to buy for our children's clothes. When I take them out, they can eat anything they want. Or you can even afford to take, because last time I saw there's a vlog you made, you and your wife, and you're taking her. Is it Western Uganda? You no, guys had a trip? Leave, leave alone that. Mm. Leave alone that. There are many things we do which are off camera. You get, eh? Some moments you just keep them private, private yourself. Yes. Leave alone the vlogs. You get? Because you go and have a good time with a special someone, you don't want to get interrupted Minus by the camera. camera. You get, eh? Yeah. You just be in the moment, enjoy. Mm. But every time I think of where we've come from and what I'm able to do, I give glory to, to God. God. Mm. And everyone out there watching, if you're just starting up, anything you believe that you, you see it has potential, don't give up. Mm. Don't listen to people. Mm. I have friends I used to work with during that time when I was in music, performing at events. When I told them about my YouTube channel, when I started YouTube, some of them laughed at me. They came to my channel, they were like, hey, so even Lawrence is saying, guys, subscribe, <laughs> <laughs> click the bell button. <laughs> Lawrence, those things are for white people. Because we would see those things when you go on YouTube, you look yeah. for a tutorial, mm. how to play guitar, yeah. how to play piano. You know me, I've taught myself everything. All the skills I have, I've learned them using the internet. Mm. So these guys just laugh at me. But right now, if they see who I am, I'm not that rich, they're like, wow. People who know me five years back, mm. if they see me, they're like, I can't believe that is Lawrence. A few months back, I think three months back, my, my uncle's son wrote to me an emotional message. Henry, if you're watching, he told me, man, Lawrence, God has been good to you, my bro. If I remember life back, how you used to hustle, the things you used to go through, and who you are right now, I give all the glory right. to God. You get that? <laughs> he reminded me of the times I used to lay bricks to survive. Mm. To survive. He reminded me of the times I used to go to shops to Kwewulabi Akulia. And they know I've not paid money. They see me, they say, he's there coming. <laughs> go, 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 we are not giving you. Because they are demanding you. Mm. So all those moments. If you see us on YouTube, we also have our personal lives mm. that we face, minus you guys seeing each and everything on camera. But if you come out here and tell you what we have gone through to have our YouTube channels and where we have reached right now, and then some people say, you're bragging. It is uh -huh. not bragging, guys. Mm. 
This is not bragging because we have really, really hustled to reach where we are. So that's a story UG Connect is trying to share with us mm. today. And I'm glad that you've shared that story with us because there are people out there that you inspire, people out there that you motivate, and they want to know how, how has Larry done it? Where did he start from, you know? It was a humble beginning. Mm. No one knew me. Mm. No one knew me. But I'm telling you right now, I can upload a video and it performs better mm. than one posted by a media house, one posted by a celebrity. Mm. No one knew me. But I've been able to be who I am right now because of the resilience of not giving up. And I'm not where I want to be. Exactly. I want to be 10 times, 50 times better than what I am right now. And it is possible. YouTube has given us a chance of, of making money you never dreamt of making. Harriet, me, I stopped in senior six. Mm. But sometimes I earn money and I'm like, wow. So all this money is mine. A doctor's salary in Uganda, sometimes I earn it on YouTube. <laughs> okay, sometimes it fluctuates, but yeah. you get it. So YouTube has given us a chance, mm. even us, the less educated people, mm. has given us a chance to have a voice in the world. Someone can come out and make content in Luganda, mm. in Swahili. They don't know English, but they make a livelihood out of it. It changes their lives. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. That is true. Mm. And I think like I've seen it like from a lot of YouTube channels, because there are some YouTube channels that are now like the Kenyan YouTube channels, some mm. of them speak in Swahili, but that's so interesting. They mix Swahili and, and English. English. If you guys watch the Bahatis, I think you know what I'm talking yes, about. Yes, Their yes. vlogs are so interesting like to watch. Look at uh, huh? look at uh, this guy. You were recently in Nyabohanse. Mayuguno. Mm, Mayuguno. Mm. An example of Mayuguno, guys. <laughs> Redeemer of Sehem. Redeemer for Sehem. Who eh? knew Maiguno would be what for he sure. is right now? Guy is not educated, but he's making his money. And, and, and at first people were laughing at him, not knowing English. But now, he's not knowing English. He's making him earn millions Thank and you. millions of money. Thank you. Imagine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you guys, we are here to motivate you. Each and everything we're talking about, guys, is the reality. And I'm glad that UG Connect has shared each and everything with you guys. Mm. And hope is an inspiration because I know many of you uh, watch our channels and you'll be like, Harriet, I want to be like you. You know, I don't be like me, okay? All I can advise is that don't be like me, but I want even to supersede me. Exactly. That's the thing. Me, mm? so when I'm helping people mm. on YouTube, I tell them, Right now, you're seeing, you're, you're admiring me, but you can even be better than me. Exactly. There are guys I've mentored who are making more money than me. Mm. Some of them, okay, the content they're making, they don't target Uganda. They target international audiences. Mm. And when someone tells Lawrence today, this month I've made this money, you're like... <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> but he's someone who yeah. came begging you to help them. And I thank God that he has used me to help a few people. Mm -hmm. And please, if you reach out and you're asking me to help you, and I don't have time, don't feel Respect bad. That. Mm -hmm. You ask me for an interview like last week. Yes. But I've got time this week. You get? She's been waiting. Some people reach out. When you tell them you're busy, they're like, where are you? Mm -hmm. As yeah. you grow, you get a lot of things around you. You get a lot of tasks to do. Mm -hmm. A lot of responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Right now, I don't have a team around me. Everything, I do it on my own. By the way, right now, I'm looking for a video editor. Yeah. You get it? Eh? Mm -hmm. If you have potential, you are a video editor and you stay in Uganda, I want a full-time video editor because I want to delegate. You know, you can't grow alone. That's okay, I've been, I've, been able, I've been able to grow to this level, but I need to do more, and I can't do it because I have a lot to sort out. Mm. Now, if I delegate, I believe I will go even further. You get eh? mm. So, if you reach out to Harriet, to who, to any content creator, and they don't give you enough time, don't feel bad. These guys have a lot of things to run. Yeah. Someone gives you their time, and in that time they have given you, they can make... Some money. Some money elsewhere. You know? Because I, I can use that time to edit a video. But if I give it to you, just feel, feel, what do I say? Utilize it well. Utilize it well and mm. also appreciate. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, that's it. So, guys, 
I think you have heard it from uh, UG Connect. Mm. So we have this other question that we would want to ask you. And the question is, how much does UG Connect <laughs> make? Because you guys have been what? You guys, I know this question. Eh? This question can't stay behind. We can't just leave this video with minus asking this question. Now, people want to know how much UG Connect, <laughs> UG Connect makes peanuts. UG Connect makes peanuts, really? Harry, there are guys who are making money, and when you hear the amount of money they are making, mm. you're like, in Zenkolachi, what am I doing? Someone comfortably makes fifty thousand US dollars a month. That's true. A hundred thousand US dollars a month. Now, if you don't know, if you earn a hundred thousand US dollars in America, mm. your entire income for the whole year, a hundred thousand, you are regarded to be rich. You're either in the upper middle class or middle class. Middle class. Mm. That is their average annual income. If I'm lying, please tell me. Drop a comment. You can correct us in the comment section. Yeah. But to the best of my knowledge, the average income, annual income for a middle class or upper middle class in America is a hundred thousand US dollars. Guys are making that money in just a month here in Africa. Half of it in just a month, a quarter of it in, in just, just a month. A month. So, me, every time when I'm walking around, when I find someone and he's struggling, I tell them about YouTube. I yap, mm. I yap about YouTube. <laughs> YouTube, YouTube. You, yes. Yeah. Every person I find and they need, I tell them, YouTube has changed me. I might not give you enough money. I might not help you like this. But I'm giving but you an idea. Let me give you an idea. Mm. Let me give you a garden and a hole. Because mm. this mm. is where I get food. And some it has worked for them. Mm. You get so getting back to the question of how much money I make. Mm. I make enough money to look after me, Definitely. to look after my family. I have a lot of responsibilities as you're seeing me here. I pay school fees for my siblings. I look after my mom. I pay rent for them. I buy them food. You get wow. every month. And you have to sustain your travels as well. My travels, my family. So I make enough money to give us the happy life, the kahamba life we have currently. He's a living testimony. You guys have heard from how he started. His YouTube journey up mm. to now where he is, he started from grass to grass now because he has passed through a lot mm. as a YouTuber. Right now you see him as, okay, you should connect him somewhere. Oh, I'm he's not, in Kenya, he's yes, here. He's, I've not even talked about not even, mm. the times I've been arrested. Oh, by the way. Even here in Uganda for making content. Like yeah. we are here, you're recording your vlog, Security comes to comes, you. Everyone comes here. Mm. <laughs> you see this beard? This beard has caused me trouble. I'm sorry for my Muslim brothers. Yeah. I'm not a Muslim. I'm a, I'm a Christian. Mm. Now I know what Muslims go through. Because I've been a victim because of the beard. Guys, I'm saying this out of experience. Mm. I know what... Muslim brothers go through. Many times I've been approached by security while vlogging in Kampala. Mm. When they question me, they ask me whether I'm Muslim. They get surprised that I'm Christian, having a Christian name. One time I was even vlogging around the flyover. You know, I've documented the Kampala flyover from its, they call it from its what? Ground foundation. What? Yeah, foundation. Foundation, like, yes. yeah, when it started. Yes. Mm. One time I was vlogging and they arrested me and they told me that I'm capturing, I'm capturing pictures to send them to terrorists. What? Yes. So those are some of the hassles we don't say on camera. Exactly. Because we don't want to scare other mm. content creators yeah. who are coming to the space. Mm. Even your friends, the Joels, have been arrested. <laughs> The Shami, one time Shami told me the security was chasing. They were vlogging around the flyover. Security came and do it away. Shami was like, Yo, hello. Yo, hello. Do that now. If you guys sit behind the scenes, eh? do it over I time. tell you, my, my goodness, guys, we have passed through a lot. Though me, I haven't gone and to that And not stadium. only them. Yeah. 
there are many others. Many of them, yeah. I've heard stories about. We've saved many content creators from jail, from rotting in jail. Mm. And I really thank, um, you know, we had a WhatsApp group. We took Molimu as YouTubers in Uganda mm. and we made a WhatsApp group. So it was a community. In case one of us gets into trouble, yeah. we can come together. And we we send us some money if there is need of that. And we see how we can help this person. Yeah. So many people have been arrested and that group we have has saved mm. them from jail. Mm. And uh, I remember, okay, let me leave that, but we made an association, by the way. Yeah, you can. It protects us as Ugandan content creators. And we have an, a card. I always talk about this. In every video I feature, I always talk about this because I want you guys, if you're coming to content creation space and you want to be protected, you are not a journalist, you are not a professional journalist, because when they arrest us, the first thing they ask, are you a journalist? Exactly, they now, think we are news yes. reporters. If you are yeah. not a journalist, these guys are going to extort money from you. Exactly. Or you go to jail, to prison innocently. Mm. You get it? So we have an association. An association to be in a country, it has to be recognized by the government. So That's it is a registered true. association. Yeah. When you join our association, we give you a card, a an card. ID. Yeah, that's an ID. It has mm. all your details. Mm. It has a, Q, a QR code. When it is scanned, when security reaches out to you and they scan that QR code, it will take them to your spaces, your online uh, platforms. Platforms, yeah. You get mm. So it carries a lot of weight and it protects every content creator out there. Yeah. So if you want to reach out, Still, you can reach out to Harriet. Yeah. We shall give you a contact. You can reach out. Mm. Uh, it's you only pay that I think that one thousand. Yeah, that's one thousand. And your fee. Yeah. Yeah, and you become a member. You renew every every year. Mm. Yeah, and we are planning a lot of things in the association. Please come and join us. Let's be many and have one voice. Content creation will be a big thing in the country mm. if all of us come together. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. Oh, wow. And it has potential, by the way, changing people's lives. Yeah, that is yeah. true. I think those who have seen me from the time I started and where I am, you feel proud. You feel proud that my life has transformed mm. and I'm not keeping this information to myself. Yeah. That's where I always share it. Wow. You mm. two connectors really, really shared a lot with us, guys. Mm. Yeah. And uh, But there is someone out there and... Uh, is watching us right now, all the people out there that are watching us right now, and we inspire them. Which message you do leave to that person who is watching us right now? Don't give up. Believe in yourself. Mm. I believe these are common terms, common words. Every motivation speaker tells you. Yeah. But let me tell you, if you go by those words, those statements, they will take you through tough times. They will take you through tough moments. And at the end of the day, you will make it. Don't give up go hard on what you believe in if you're doing something and you know it's going to work out you know there is when you go into something and you're like i'm sure this thing is going to work out for me but it takes time exactly for it to be what you want it to be for instance me it took me one year to monetize my first youtube channel mm. but i didn't give up and my wife was always coloring because i was injecting money in the youtube every time you're focused injecting money because remember again, i was mm. working cleaning the toilet mm. The 150 we were getting, the house we were staying in, the <laughs> room we were staying in, I think we were paying 70,000, 80,000. And guys, that's not far. Those, that's 20, 20, 20, 2019. COVID time. COVID time. Mm. Now, I thank God, I think after five or six months into that job of cleaning, I got a job in UNRWA. I went and started working as a casual worker. But see, it wasn't, it wasn't a lot of money. Yeah. yeah. But of course, it was more of a relief. But I had to, try, I had to go back to the village. When I went back to the village in Gevintubiga, near Kampala, I got a job. I got a connection from there at the UNRWA okay. station oh. in Mpiji. You know I'm born in Mpiji. So I got connected to UNRWA Mpiji, and I got a job there. I spent, I think, a year in PG at UNRWA working there and that's where I made a $5,000 in just one month. I remember that month was August and I told my wife, honey, we going back to Kampala. <laughs> 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 well, we came back wow. big. The smiles all on. Abali basula mukazigo. Tuakumone tugamba tuagala chikomera. Want to stay in a fenced community. Mm. Hmm? A nice looking house. 
and I thank God. Mm. I think uh, we are in the second, second, third year where we, we are staying and we have never lacked. We give all the glory to God. Amen. Mm. I feel like as if this is one of the interviews that I've made and I feel like, yeah, I've really made an interview and I'm glad I've done the interview with you. And again, thank you so much for your time. If you want us to do more videos, drop a comment and let us know, okay? Yeah, they can tell us, we me, I'm ready. We can do more other videos to inspire everyone out there. Yeah. We can do some vlogs. Exactly. Before you travel, where are you traveling next? A secret agenda. Oh, secret agenda. <laughs> At least you tell me. Give me a camera, a whisper. <laughs> I'll tell you off camera. <laughs> off camera. <laughs> she wants to surprise you, tell me. Yeah. I'm trying to my dream destination. <laughs> but anyways, we're not staying in Uganda for so long. Yes. Yeah, expect more vlogs from Harriet yeah. Anabo. Mm. I feel proud when I see Ugandans traveling, Harriet. Yeah. YouTubers mm. traveling. That has always been my dream. Mm. Me traveling and also seeing other Ugandans traveling, traveling. representing Uganda. Yeah. We have many Kenyans who are doing that. And those guys have made money. You went to Kenya, you saw them. Exactly. Even me, when I went to Kenya, now when I went to Kenya, that's when I realized that, hey, people are making money in YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> serious money, not even money, but serious money. I met yeah. three big content creators in Kenya. Yeah. These guys, were generous enough to show me their earnings without hiding. Ah, Yuji, you know, Kenyans they call me Yuji Connect. <laughs> Yuji, Mr. Yuji, <laughs> are you see this month? Yeah, I made this, I made this. They show you like the past six months. You're like, wow, that's why you see many young people are rich, mm. they work in their homes. UG Connect goes and captures content for three days, one week. When he comes back, he has content to take him through the whole month mm. or two months. He spends all the time inside the house. He just moves out to take his children around. Just keep on out. uploading videos. You get? Mm. And the neighbors be like, but what job do these people the do? people make, yeah. Maybe these people are scammers. <laughs> Maybe these are the thieves who move out to steal our money. To to hey. You get mm. people are working smart mm. using their brains. Mm. Wow. So I urge every person, not only the youths, whichever age you are, mm. as long as you can do content, mm. go out there, do content, YouTube will change your life. Yeah. By the way, kindly let's go and check out Auntie Jackie's diary. Mm. Auntie Jackie called me, she gave me a call and she told me, Lawrence, I think I'm I'm the I'm I'm like, I'm the auntie of all YouTubers in Uganda because mm -hmm. I think I'm the oldest. You get? So someone like her, if she's doing content, even you, I you can like do... like YouTube has no age. It has, it has, no, it has no age, age limit. Yeah. Has so no kindly, let's go and support Auntie Jackie's auntie diary. Jackie's there, yeah. yeah, let's go. She has an interesting story. Let's go and support her and you'll get to know more about her channel. Mm -hmm. We've mentioned it. Yeah. Yep. Wow. So any message you want to leave to the people watching from the diaspora, any message? Diaspora people, mm. thank you so much for watching our videos. Uh, if you don't know, if we get diaspora viewers or viewership on our videos, yeah. money increases. Exactly. Because your viewership is highly valued compared to ours here. In Africa. If I get a thousand views mm. from Uganda or Africa, and I get a thousand views, from Canada, America, UK, the amount of money those videos make will be different. Different. They yeah. have the same views, same topic, same length. But the money. Different viewership. Mm. The viewership from the UK, Canada, where the, the developed world can make 10 times the money I've made from the viewership in Uganda. In Uganda, yeah. So, the Thank more you, you watch our videos, mm. the more money we make. Thank mm. you so much for watching our videos. Yeah. And also, they are those who have gone beyond watching and have been generous to us. Harriet, I am who I am. I, ha, I am who you I are. am. Mm. Is that right? Yes. Because of the diaspora people. The support. Those people have supported me tremendously. I think you've ever heard of stories where someone gets rejected by their own people 
but strangers come exactly, and pick them and up. Exactly, and uplift them, yes. Strangers have made me who I am. The, the travels, the biggest journeys I've made on UG Connect have been sponsored mm. by those people. Mm. My first mm. flight out of the country, Mr. Dara and the family, my brother, Mr. Asin. They made huh? all that happen. Yeah. Mm. Now others don't want to mention their names. Yeah. <laughs> One time I was there, someone sent me $1,000. You felt like printing. <laughs> <laughs> Just for making content. Oh my goodness. Young man, I see you're doing hard. Wow. You're so hard working, man. Wow. Let me send you 500 bucks. Hmm? You know yourselves, I can't mention your names, <laughs> but thank you so much. Yeah. Even when I got arrested in Rwanda, mm. people reached out. When they got to know that I'm arrested, they reached out to my wife. And they helped her through that time when I wasn't available. Mm. Okay, that was a very tough time for me because even before leaving for Rwanda, I didn't have money. Mm. I didn't have enough money. Mm. And my children were sick. And I was like, I have to go and work because this is my job. Now when I got arrested and this guy was serious about the case, I was like, how, them, how is my family going to survive? I used to cry when, I'm, when I was in the cells. Mm. I used to cry. Now when the embassy sent, him, sent me a lawyer, mm. the first statements which came out of my mind is, my children and my wife. <laughs> <laughs> so my lawyer tells my wife, mm. eh, your husband loves you. <laughs> when I went, he was like, my children and my wife. Mm. How are they going to survive without me? <laughs> <laughs> you get it? Eh? So I'm coming back yeah. to the diaspora audience. You were asking me words to the diaspora audience. All I have to say is thank you so much for your generosity, for supporting content creators here. Of late, I've been receiving calls from mm. people from America, from the UK. The Lawrence, we believe in you. We believe in you, Lawrence, man. You're lifting the flag of Uganda. You're taking the right direction. Such words. Motivational words. For motivate sure. me. Eh? Mm. And we love the fact that you're also helping other content creators. So grow. Yeah. You get? So they're like, travel, go places. We are ready to support you. We shall do anything we can mm. to see that you make it. Huh? Wow. The Wodemeyers, the who have been supported by their own people. Exactly. Even as we would like to see Uganda and we would like to see a UG Connect traversing the world. You get? That is it. And I'm telling you guys. <laughs> Very soon we shall be traversing this entire world, yes, man. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to make this video so long, but if you have enjoyed this video, kindly yeah. give it a thumbs up. If you yes. haven't subscribed to our channels, kindly do. And again, don't forget to go to UG Connect's channel. If you haven't subscribed, if this is your first time watching this video, kindly subscribe to UG Connect, okay? Thank you. Let's support our brother because he has also supported us on this channel. And um, this is how we grow, guys, on YouTube. Thank you so much to everyone who has watched from the diaspora, from Africa. My Jamaican friends, thank you so much for the support and each and everyone. Love is for free. Share the love. We love you all. We shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.